guys, it's Dear Natural 62. I'm gonna do a water marble shout out video. So let's get started. If this is your first time watching my water marble shout outs, I do shout outs for people. People give me color combos that they want to see and no matter where you are, YouTube, Instagram, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, if you're on one of my social media sites, I will see the color combos. <laughs> and trust me, I get flooded with so many, so don't be upset, don't catch an attitude. <laughs> Because that just turns me off from doing your color combo. I'm just being honest. Now, I've already taped my fingers. If you've never seen one of my videos and you want to learn how to tape your fingers, I'll link the video to how to tape your fingers and how to remove the tape off carefully so you don't ruin your design in the description box on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, just go to the description box. I'll have that link for you. And if you want more tips that I haven't mentioned in this video, check out video number 97. I'll also link it down below for you. That's a quick tips and tricks on water marble to help you get through it. Because so many people have, you know, responded saying they've had certain issues. So I'm gonna try to address those issues, okay? As we move along. So now this color combo is from an Instagram follower. They wanted to see a white, blue, and yellow inspired look. I am so loving Instagram right now. And I love the fact that you can do videos too. The only thing I don't like about it, you gotta talk real fast on those videos because it's not that long. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. But other than that, I'm really feeling Instagram. If you like Instagram too, definitely let me know your Instagram um, profile name. And of course, mine is Dear Natural 62 so definitely check me out. My number one question is, what kind of water are you using? Because every time I try this, it doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. This is regular room temperature water. And again, for those that don't know what room temperature water is, it's just water that you let sit out till it becomes room temperature. So if you get the water from the faucet, just let the water sit out for about half an hour to an hour, and you should be fine. Don't worry about that if you make little mistakes like that. We just won't use that section. Water marble can be so easy and so fun, but it does take some practice. But I, I know you can do it, so don't give up. I've gotten so many people that give me like pics of their water marbles, so I know it can be done. I'm just using the smallest dotting tool I have. In previous videos, I've used a T-pin, I've used a pin, I've used a safety pin, I've used an orange stick, I've used a toothpick. There are so many things you can use. When it comes to design, just figure out something that you want. This yellow is not being cooperative. But you know what? That's kind of cute the way it is right there. Let's see if I can stretch this out a bit and do something else. But the yellow was not being cooperative. That's the only thing I didn't like. We might have to leave that yellow out because let me see. What else am I feeling? Oh, you know what? We could put in yellow dots. I'm going to go in right here on my pinky. So once you figure out what you want and play around, you have so much to play around with. If your size of your cup is too wide and you notice it's spreading out too much, get a smaller cup. That's another tip. And then you have places to play with. Like if I wanted to try to create something over here, I can try to create something over here. Um, so, and then you take a look, you step back and you look and you see where you wanna, you wanna put your finger. I realized since my yellow didn't work here, I'm gonna use this section right here and then add in yellow accents. So let's go in. top of the water so I can pull my finger out. If you don't do this, when you do pull your finger out, you don't want any of this excess stuff to get on your nail. So now I'm just gonna slowly pull out my finger. See how pretty that is? 
I was right. So now what I'll just do is I'll add yellow accents to it to make it work. But see how gorgeous? I love it. This also has like a sailor effect. My next color combo is coming from a Twitter follower and a YouTube follower. They wanted to see the same color combo, which is white, red, and black. And what I'm going to do for the black, I'm going to use, oh, I'll have all the products listed in the description box for you. So you, not to worry. Just give me a minute to put them in there, but I will. I'm going to use Sugar, Sugar Coat by Sally Henson. And I want to see how that's going to come out. So we're going to see. Now you see how it opens in the water. So you now you know you can use those colors also in the water for water marble. Because I didn't know what was going to happen. I like to test these out with you. Now if it goes terribly, terribly wrong, I will edit that out. But for the most part, I try to do everything firsthand with you at the same time. So you let me know what you think and I get to see the same results you do at the same time and I like that. So now another common question I get is do you have to put on a base coat? I say yes. Definitely test out my theory. If you don't have a base coat on, I notice that your design just looks so pale and it just doesn't have enough life for me. It doesn't, the colors don't look as bright. So I tend to do a base coat. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be white though. The only reason I'm doing white is because I noticed the majority of all these colors had white in it. So it just made sense to use white as my base coat. But sometimes I just use the lightest color in my color combo. So if you're doing like a pink, blue, and yellow, I'd use the yellow. So just a quick tip. Okay. here is I put the black too far out maybe I should have put another line further in only because now my black is so dry see I can't drag it in so like the yellow I'm gonna have to do black accents <laughs> so lots of accents I'll do that off camera and show you those results at the end so now for here there's so many pretty sections you can choose from I'm gonna choose right here this looks cute. And the lines are big enough that I can do some black. Okay, let me also show you how to anchor. When you notice your design is moving like this, what you do is take the tip of your design and anchor it to the side wall. That way now you can move it anywhere you want and it won't go anywhere. pretty too so I'll add the black accents at the end my next color combo is coming from a Facebook follower they wanted to see me do black and white again because they wanted to learn how to do it so they don't get gray so I start with dropping my white and what I'll do is I'll drop a couple of drops of black so that the black stands out that's another great tip if you want your color to appear darker just drop a couple of more drops than you would normally then that just helps your color look more pronounced. Another question I get is, in, do you change the water in between doing your fingers or doing your hand? No, I don't. The only time I change the water is if by chance I use oil or chapstick around my nails instead of tape. Using any type of oil or petroleum around your fingers like they said this the old saying, oil and water don't mix. So in that case, you're going to have to change the water. But since I taped my fingers, you're absolutely fine. You don't have to change the water in any sense. But you notice how my black really stands out? It doesn't appear gray, and that's only because I'm dropping a couple of more drops of black.
you do have a small nail bed, I would just make sure that your design is closely, it's like a tight knit design. Like if I had really short nails, I would be doing something like this. Not like this, because this is bigger nails, longer nail bed. Something with shorter nail bed, you want the lines to be much closer together. And that's just gonna look nicer on your nails. Now, isn't it funny how I wanted all of this on my nails? Instead, I got this. <laughs> I'd tell you, it's all in the water marble family. It's not perfect, but sometimes you get some funky designs. This absolutely looks funky. It looks like wood grain, but in a grayish tone, gray-blue tones. But this would have looked even cuter because then it would have looked like Beetlejuice. So, <laughs> let's keep moving on. So, my next color combo came from a Google Plus follower. They wanted to see white, orange, silver, and yellow. And I'm going to do a couple of things different. So, <laughs> like, so for the silver, I've never used holographic polish before. So, we're going to see what that does. And for the yellow, I'm going to use a glow-in-the-dark yellow cover, like top coat. So we'll see how this comes out. You know, all for Halloween, which is coming up. I can't wait. I absolutely love Halloween. If you know what you're going to be for Halloween, definitely share that down below. I can't wait to find out. And let me know if you do any of my nail picks for Halloween. You know, definitely tweet me pics of your nails, post them on my Facebook fan page, or tag me on Instagram at DearNatural62. That would be cool. Now, we're going to see how well this does because it's opening up kind of funky. <laughs> so we'll see what we get. I'm afraid. Oh, that came out cute! Especially for Halloween and especially since it's neon. That came out different and cute. So <laughs> let's keep moving on. So the next color combo came from a YouTube follower. They wanted to see like a periwinkle blue and green. So this definitely, you know, screams Halloween to me, <laughs> this color combo. So let's see what we can do. Now, a couple of things to try to help your colors spread. What you can do is make sure that your nail polish is not too thick. If your nail polish is too thick, it's gonna have difficulty spreading. So what I recommend is using a nail polish thinner. I use Beauty Secrets, which I obtained from Sally's. And all I do is drop a couple of drops in my polish and then that does the trick for me. Don't use nail polish remover because what nail polish remover does, after a while it ruins the consistency of your nail polish. My nail polishes have lasted a very long time because I don't do that. I did in the beginning because I didn't know any better. So now that, you know, I've learned, I'm going to pass on that knowledge to you also. This is so pretty. The more I look at it, it just looks so adorable. So 
cute. I really do like that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clean all my fingers. I'm going to accentuate and I'll be right back. So here are my final results. I absolutely love the way they came out. So this is what I did. I know this was supposed to be a yellow, but please forgive me. I just went with the nautical theme and I just made a cute little heart and I think it just looks so adorable. Definitely let me know which one of these that you absolutely love. Because the black didn't take, remember it was too far on the outside, on the outskirts, what I did was I still used that same sugar coat black in Licorice by Sally Henson to make these dots. So if you feel it, it's not smooth. It has a grainy texture to it. Even though I put a top coat on it, it still has that kind of grainy texture, which is cute. So it makes it three-dimensional now. Now this one, I just thought it was fine and interesting just the way it is. Um, you could have done something if you wanted to add some black dots or different colored dots in there, but really looking at it, it just looks interesting to me. So now this one, I did put the glow in the dark color. I'll show you that now. Oh, look how pretty. So your nails will look cute in the dark, in the nightclub. <laughs> Lights back on. And then for the thumb, I think the design came out cute on its own. I didn't feel the need to accentuate. It looks like, um, how would I describe this? It's like a vibration of colors because the colors blended so beautifully together. It just looks gorgeous. Now, if you wanted to, you could put like a little purple rhinestone here in the middle to make it pop even more. It's all up to you how far you want to go and how less you want to do. Now you can always pull back or you can always do more. It's water marble, just have fun with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, more water marbles to come. Definitely check out my playlist on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash dearnatural62. Check out my water marble playlist. So many water marbles. So keep the color combos coming. Don't forget to subscribe to both my YouTube channels, Dear Natural 62 and Dear Natural. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and Pinterest at Dear Natural 62. Take care. Bye-bye.